Mamma Mia! Hello everybody, this is Miles Luigi. Welcome you back to Let's Play Super Mario Bros. The Hunt for the Magical Key. Now, while it's probably a really bad idea to enter a level in World 8 without any power-ups, I'm gonna go ahead and try to uh, make the most out of it as I run into a very lavenous cave that really, really wants to annoy us whenever we jump. It's like we're jumping on the really hot rock, and it's just like, well, jumping on the really hot rock was not a bright idea, because, you know, jumping in an area filled with lava, I guess, would be very... Very brave. I, I will admire one thing. We're in an area of the lava, and it's just kind of actually kind of has that sense of lava, and plus it feels like lava actually belongs here because you know it's molten rock. <laughs> if you've got molten rock and it's just kind of sitting out in the middle of your grass fields, it's not exactly. Uh, ooh, I think that's a reset pipe of some kind. Or it was, I was just going to say, maybe this will be one end fire, one end ice. Oh gosh, a plea balloon. I haven't had to deal with a plea balloon in this ROM hack yet. And I um, shot straight up to the ceiling, so most of this plea balloon is going to be spent just getting Luigi down over to here where he can navigate. And hopefully he has enough air to make it through this section. I don't think he does. Does he, does he, does he, does he? Yes, he does. Oh, just barely. Ooh, I just made that. Okay. Plea balloons just introduce so much opportunity for evil because it's just not that nice of a thing to control like uh, yeah controls fine you just you move so slowly but you have momentum with that slowness too oh gosh that was a reset pipe I know <laughs> unless there's actually another point to that oh I guess it's in case you mess up this pea balloon section just in case you use a pea balloon and then just kind of sit at the starting area not my plan at all Oh, and that dragon coin can go kiss Luigi's gigantic behind. <laughs> okay, but my point being is that lava doesn't exactly belong. I, wow, I don't know what's below me. I can assume that it's a lava pit, so I'm going to just kind of do one of these. Okay, thank God I landed on ground. So I should say, those potables are coming out of lava, so I probably don't want to jump in that area. I was thinking maybe I could spin jump off of one, and that would have done the decent trick. I'm going to get nailed in the face by that potable. Um, okay, back to my original point. Okay, grass fields aren't a place for lava. <laughs> I know in Super Mario World, there's the lava tile object. It's like, you can totally place that lava tile object down. It's like, yes, I have lava tiles now. And they look all, oh gosh darn it. Well, I was stuck between a fire bar and a hard place. And that hard place was a uh, spike ball of doom. So if I actually manage my jumps well, I can get to a much safer platform to stand on. Where it's like I can actually stand safely and I, uh, I'm i going to get in between these two here. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm standing on a platform that is death and in front of me is death. And yeah, here's another fire bar of doom. I'm just going to stand here and just, oh gosh, that fire bar is going to nail me. Yeah, it is going to nail me. Darn it. Okay. I don't have too many places to stand. I'm just going to go forward here because I know I have the time for it. Point being, okay, I can't go forward and survive. I can't go back and survive. I can't stay on this platform and survive. What other direction do I have to go? Uh, it's not like I have a magical Z-axis to go... Oh, gosh, that fire bar almost nailed me. <laughs> yes, I'm just going to go utilize the magical Z-axis that's not here and... These ones are moving just a little bit faster, so I need the clearing to be able to make the jump. Okay, there we go, and I'm not gonna let. Oh, Mega Mole, you you bounced off the uh, you bounced off this thing. I didn't know Mega Mole could bounce off that thing. Well, I guess now I know Mega Mole can bounce off that thing. Okay, yes, I don't want Spike of Doom jetting up Luigi's. Ah, this is bringing me back memories of Kaizo Mario. <laughs> Yikes! Gotta act quick, gotta act fast when there's a Mega Mole about to bounce off the spike, which still just seems illogical in my mind. Anyway, I'm gonna jump off the top one first, and then the bottom one. Does the top one... Yes, the top one's used at the end, or not, because I guess you can avoid, <laughs> avoid that altogether. Yeah, no, if I would have had to have used the top one, that would have been a horrible Kaisamar memory. I actually don't think I would have made that jump. Anyway, is the spike platform gonna move? I, I, I guess not. Are you gonna move now? Okay, no, no. Now I'm really scared. This level's making me really scared that something's just gonna completely destroy me. Yeah, something like this would completely destroy me. Alright, gotta time this well. Don't get squished by the spikes. I'm this because I guess getting totally uh, spiked. 
by the spike in midair, because that'd be very bad. And Well, speaking of spikes, now we just have a big, gigantic gauntlet of spikes. Woo, I am glad I made it into the safe zone here. Would it have killed you to put a power up here, Alex? No, I could really use a power up, especially after this. This is a long corridor. God damn it. No! Oh, the lesson of the day, kids, is you don't mess around with the flame or the fire or anything like that, or the spikes or anything. There are dangerous things in this world at which you must watch out for. Very dangerous things. I, I, if there was just coins in the safe spot, just coins in the safe spot, <laughs> that I wouldn't have to do one of these. Wrong button. Right button. That's... Yeah! Safe zone. Oh, just within the frame of the safe zone. Okay. Alright. Getting to this part of the level is just enough of the pain in the ass, so... Spin jump, because spin jump doesn't go as high as a regular jump. Actually, that is my strategy here. All the way. Spin jump. Gotta take advantage of the lower jump when in a situation where the height of my jump will make a huge difference. Thank God I made it to the next pipe. And the next pipe takes me into an area with a whole bunch of spin tops and all that thing. I am going to graciously take my gold tape. Thank you. Four will be the answer to my gold tape, which ultimately gets us into single digits with our bonus gauge. <laughs> but with that said, we have made it to eight factory, and unfortunate for Mario, he doesn't have a hammer to hammer the uh, block right below them. Well, that kind of actually probably implies that this factory probably has a secret exit. It's another blo I died at the beginning of the freaking level. Oh, okay, it's another box factory. So I, I got a question this. Okay, we've got one box. I can pick up these boxes. Duly noted. Okay. Um, we got the one box factory from the earlier part of the level, which is like, okay, here's just a box factory, but now we've got another box factory. So what separates the box factory other than the by location? It's like, okay, the business that controls all these box factories, this is the west box factory, and the other one's the east box factory, and that's the, that's the two different divisions. You have your east division and your west division, because that is just a corporate thing to do, is to separate your box factories by division. Although in this case, you could totally say, yeah, we're the hell division box um, company that works for Bowser. We work for Bowser near Bowser's corporate office in his castle. <laughs> I'm going to start calling Bowser's castle Bowser's corporate office just because that induces a bit more, I guess, uh, menacing feel to everyone if I were to call it a corporate office because the corporate office just has that scary feeling to you because it's like, oh, it's the big corporate office. Here's where the big wig works. Here's where the CEO that makes five billion times more money than I do works. Oh, scary place, because if you don't want to piss him off, that's for sure. There we go. You don't want to piss the big man off. And in this case, the big man is Bowser. And he doesn't want anyone messing around with his box factory. His box factory is really important to him. What is Bowser trying to ship here? Uh, like, you, you don't ship troops in boxes. By the way, that shell is... Yeah, that shell distracted me too much that I wasn't paying attention to Mario's surroundings, and I died and fell down into the ventilation system, which proved to be very uh, bad for Mario's health. You think the vents are a great way to sneak around a place, but then you think that, and then all of a sudden the vents kick in, and it's blistering hot or really, really cold, and then you realize that wasn't a smart idea. Well, I, I suppose for I was thinking about shipping Bowser's troops. Oh, I should have brought the P-Switch here, but I couldn't have bring the stream Snatch gear because that's not something I couldn't have done because of the type of platform that I was in. Can I grab one of these blocks? There's no P-Switch back here, but, oh, I guess I can. I really want a P-Switch now. What's in here? What is that? <laughs> what? What's... So I'll, I'll take my power up. <laughs> oh, okay, so I can pick up the boxes from earlier, but not from er Okay. All right, what else would you put in boxes? Well, of course, if you're commanding an army of boxes like these, I can't pick up these boxes here. Why could I pick up those boxes from that one point? Okay. I was trying to say ship supplies or food or Bowser's version of meals ready to eat. I got to figure out this puzzle here because we have like this super rainbow cannon of an instant destruction. If we know what a rainbow Koopa Troopa can do, I can't imagine that the rainbow cannon at Doom is going to, uh, you know, be very nice. But I think I need it in order to cross that thing there. So we actually have kind of a puzzle on our hands. I'm going to go back into this pipe. I assume this pipe is a form of a reset pipe. It certainly gives us an infinite supply of fire flowers and unless there's like a piece which just hidden in that room which is a possibility 
Um, I am thinking that, that that room just serves as an infinite supply of power-ups, which I've got nothing against because I totally like the fire flowers, man. But uh, I am going to have to run backwards a little bit to see if I was missing a P-switch before I start searching every single nook and cranny of the level. Because searching every nook and cranny of a level is not something that I really want to do. Do you really want to search every nook and cranny of your house? You'll be surprised at the things that you will find. But I can't give you an answer on what you'll find because it is your house which you will find things. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Mario is going to have to search every nook and cranny of this uh, factory. What is he going to find? Well, maybe he's going to find out that they've put the box factory next to the spider um, uh, house. Ooh, that's a terrible idea. You don't want spiders near your box factory because then the spider is going to get into the box factory. I totally died. <laughs> okay. So our mission, it's to find a P-Switch. Now unfortunately we can't carry the P-Switch to that one area, so first I'm gonna check all the nooks and crannies in this area because you know, it's like, hey, there's a fire flower here, there's the Koopa Troopa, is there any invisible coin blocks? Maybe one of these blocks can be picked up? Ah! Here I am, I'm just about to hit that space time rewind button, but that's not what's gonna be effective here. Is there a bubble that I get in? You know, I get into the bubble, it floats me away and brings me to a faraway place, gets me in my P-Switch, and then I can be all happy and everything. No, oh, oh, I can do that. That's totally gonna hide my P-Switch, isn't it? That's totally gonna hide my P-Switch, okay. We're gonna have to bring a Koopa shell on the, oh, no, um, that's not how this is gonna work. I am gonna have to use you, aren't I? Okay. I was just to say, I can't shoot the fire. Aw, oh, he despawned because he went off screen. Because that's something that can happen in these games. Shoot. Yep, there's our one-up mushroom. I didn't want a one-up mushroom. And I didn't want to shoot that fireball either. I want a peace switch. I am sounding like a bratty little kid who's not getting what he's wanting. Okay, well, I'm gonna be playing with dangerous things here, which include this Koopa Shell, and that's why Koopa Shells are very dangerous, everyone. Okay, they are not a toy. They are a serious tool to be used in the box factory, okay? I use this thing at work every day, and there are certain safety precautions that I have to undergo to properly use this, this shell, but unfortunately, Mari has no access to any of the protective gear at all, and he's forced to live dangerously and use this shell very dangerously, and now I'm gonna be, have to go through all the boxes. Oh gosh, am I gonna, I just realized, if I can kick open these boxes with the shell. Okay, load state so all my power-ups aren't already annihilated. Oh gosh, okay, here is my idea. On one hand, I have the rainbow sh Koopa shell cannon of doom, or I could do that really, oh my gosh, just looking at this idea is making me cringe so hard. Uh, at least the Koopa Trooper spawns. I have 372 seconds for this plan. I, I better come up with a strategy. That's my strategy. <laughs> ah, no! Okay, well, as before, he does respawn, so it's not like you're getting punished for losing the shell. Just make sure you continue forward. It might be better if I just stay small, because I'm going to have to stay small to go through this. And thankfully, it's not that far and long forward. Okay, so hopefully, Mario, you can do this. Can I scroll the screen? That would be nice. Ah, I messed up my Koopa Troopa shenanigans. You see jumping on a Koopa shell. Once again, Mario doesn't have the proper safety equipment. A, a proper guy would have safety equipment like a shield of some kind to deflect the Koopa shells. And yeah, I really want to scroll the screen. The screen will not scroll. Okay, okay, screen scrolling had to have been disabled in this ROM Mac because it's like I'm pressing the screen scrolling buttons while holding no other button and it's still not scrolling. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and forth here for these last couple of blocks. How many more do I have to go six? Okay, everyone count them down with me. We got six to go, so now that's gonna be five. Oh gosh, I just realized I'm gonna have to run into here and then run back out, and it's gonna be dangerous as all freaking hell. Like that. <laughs> that Koopa Troopa is just flying at a super high speed. I'm just don't say if we introduce like 1.21 gigawatts of electricity, that Koopa Troopa is going so fast it might go through time. <laughs> You, you don't need a fancy car, you, you just need that 1.21 gigawatts, your flux capacitor, and a Koopa shell. And bam, time travel is all yours. You see, this is how Bowser's able to kidnap the princess over and over and over again, because he just used a time machine to make various versions of himself go through different time periods. Oh gosh, okay, here's where it's going to be really hell. I have three to go, and I have to run in here, and this is extremely, extremely, extremely dangerous. See what I mean? And the next one's gonna be even more dangerous and the last one's gonna be the most dangerous of them all. I could theoretically, no. Let's not think theoretically. Let's just go through this. Okay, this is 
No! I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I am not going through all this again. Kick the last block. Get out of the way. And we can continue on with the freaking level. Holy cow. Holy cow. You see, this is why Mario games don't take Mario through factories. Because you tend to realize that if you have a factory in a Mario level, factory levels are cool. And people don't want cool. So the much do they do, they make the factory level extremely tedious. And I fell down a hole and died. I didn't know that there was a hole there. Shoot. Okay, so there's the yellow paratrooper just walking around minding his own business. And I'm just going to mind my own business as well and hope that I can manage to find the end of the level. But unfortunately, it looks like that I'm going to have to use the springboard to get this piece. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, I picked up the springboard and I have the cannon of doom. I could have used you earlier, cannon of doom. <laughs> Rainbow cannon doom. See, look at what this thing can do. This thing was going to make my life so much easier in the room earlier because now I can actually blast my way through here and keep my power up, which just begs the question, how would I have kept that thing from earlier? Well, I don't have too much time to... I can break these with my head. I can break these with my head. You know I know what would have done the trick? A cape. I wouldn't have bet you if I had a cape. I would have gone through that really easily. Okay, Mario. All right, I don't have time for this. <laughs> Screw it all. Also, can I... Probably not, but... Okay, why aren't you... Oh, I'm out of it now. Springboard? No, I am running up this side of this thing, unless I springboard at this end here. Oh, no, you don't. You're not running away with the springboard. Springboard is mine. I'm going to use it to get up here and hope to God that I find the end of this factory. This factory just keeps going on and on and on and on. Well, Bowser, whatever you make in here, you have a giant ass warehouse factory floor. Oh, my God. Gosh, what are you doing with this thing? <laughs> what are you doing with an aircraft carrier with a factory there? And to think that that level probably has a secret exit. There's no way to guarantee it, but with that rock there, you would think that the level has a secret exit. And where would a secret exit be hidden in a level quite like that? Maybe I should let the YouTube audience figure that one out. YouTube audience, your assignment. Eight factory, secret exit. <laughs> You're either going to have to pay a lay along this flan and find out for yourself, or you're going to have to be like, Hey, Miles Luigi, at this time code in the video, go here. Or you could do a YouTube search like I commonly do when I can't find a secret eggs in a level. It's your choice! But the answer is dependent on you. You must find the answer for me, or else I will not get every single exit in the ROM hack. That's not very threatening, Miles Luigi. No, it's not. I need to make something a bit more threatening to get people to get their asses together and find the secret exit for me. Hmm. That's the problem, though. I'm an entertainer. If I threaten the audience, the audience will be like, well, screw this. I'm out of here. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. No. I... Well, in the next episode of Let's Play Super Mario Brothers The Hunt for the Magical Key, we're going to take on the airship level, and I guess we're going to come back to this factory at some point. So, this has been Miles Luigi. See you next time.